Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be playing Fishing Planet. Now, uh, this is, in my opinion, this is the latest and has been the best fishing simulator, so to speak, there has been. Uh, the game is really detailed, uh, as in equipment you can get to actually add the water being snagged in and out the water, um, the way the current goes, stuff like that, just little things really make the game fit together and it is an early access so they're still working on a lot of things but so far I haven't seen any bugs, only thing I would say that I don't like is the leveling system takes just a bit too long in my opinion but that being said that's all I've found out, uh, that's, sorry, that's all the only problem that I've found, is the leveling system just takes a bit too long. Um, as I said, it is early access, they're bringing um, a lot more fishing styles, such as fly fishing, uh, you're going to be able to go out in boats, stuff like that, but the, the base they've got, they've set themselves with this game just now, uh, like the basic stuff you can do just now is like, it's detailed as hell. Um, so, if you want to grab this game, you can head over to Steam uh, and just type in Fishing Plan. It's free to play. Uh, that being said, though, there is a premium side to it, but it's not like a pay to win the game where you're not PvP or anything like that in it, but it's not like that in that sense. Basically, the premium allows you to accelerate your gaming experience uh, rather than just uh, playing as normal as what I'm going to do. Um, this game does take patience. Uh, if you do like fishing in real life, uh, this is definitely a nice game to sit back and relax. Um, if you've never tried fishing in your life then I would give this game a go and see what you think. Patience is a virtue as I said and if you don't like fishing, then who knows, don't get it, but if you do want to get it and you end up liking it, then you might actually like fishing in real life, so then anyway, we're going to uh, go ahead and jump in here. I'll show you some of the, the items and stuff like that, that you can buy. <coughs> okay, now we're in, uh, we're actually at the water where you appear. Uh, as you can see visually, this game does look pretty sweet. Just the detail and stuff like that. I'm not going to throw the rod in just, just yet. So, first few things we'll dive into is, this is the area that we are fishing just now. So, we are the Mudwater River. Uh, gives you a little detailed weather report for the five days. Uh, your temperature, a little, uh, a little tip, and a little description of the area you're in. And up the top right, this is your premium money. So this is like you, the money you put in in real life. This is these coins here, and then this is in-game currency. And as I said, you don't get any advantages, uh, as in like better equipment and anything like that. If you pay for things, it just you get things faster. <coughs> um, there's still a few things um, that's coming soon, as I say, as early access. Uh, as you can see, I'm still a low level. I'm not even, I don't know if I'm level 2 or I'm nearly level 3. I don't know how that works. So, basically, if we go to the shop, got your premium which you can click on and here's like your bundles so to speak whatever uh, you've got your licenses so I mean there's a few pages of stuff for each uh, area you've got you can pay for a license for one day all up to unlimited which is pretty cool um, you've got your baits and this keeps changing I don't know what what, what the hell is going on um, there's like tons of pages of all different baits I don't know why it's just showing me these. Uh, the greens, um, when 
it turns green, that means you're a high enough level to uh, purchase that item. And the greys is you're not that level yet. And the way it tells the little star down here, as you can see it on them, that means you have to be level 4 before you can uh, purchase that, um, that item. So as you see, you've got your lures. I don't know where the rest of the stuff's went, it keeps changing. But they've, they've really thought everything in this. Yeah, that's, I don't know, it's definite. I don't know what the hell's going on. Basically, uh, you can buy yourself uh, rod cases, uh, different keep nets, uh, vests, um, footwear, stuff like that. Um, all your different lines, tackle, all you need, your reels and your rods, all different. I don't, this is your filters if you're looking for a specific item. And this uh, was actually because, there, as I said again, there's maybe lots of pages, but I don't know why it keeps changing. I don't know if it's a bug when you load the game up sometimes, you know. Um, <clears throat> so, that's that. Uh, what's this? Right, so this is my trophies and your achievements. This is what you've done, you've done so far. This is how many days you've played uh, in total. Uh, your fish caught and stuff like that. So... This is my trophies here, not anything too great, uh, at the beginning you start with really, really, really basic gear, so the game only allows you to catch up to a certain, uh, a certain pound of fish, and a total of pound of many fish, uh, and when you rank, rank up, uh, that increases over time. Um, so, as you, details about the fish here, what you caught them on are that's a favourite food, I'm not too sure. Uh, what is this? Right, so the, here it's here, so max fish weight. I think this is how the, the highest fish I can catch is three pounds, say. And the total weight that I can keep, as in a uh, catch or release, um, is nearly nine pounds, so. That's how much I can hold just now if I had to spend like all day there and catch so many fish I can only keep up to uh, nine pounds. So uh, this is your inventory. As you can see I've bought myself uh, just a little waistcoat jacket, but I mean it doesn't doesn't do anything, doesn't like give you extra room or anything like that, not that I know of. Or not this one anyway. Uh, so just a normal, uh, your normal rod. This is the different uh, types of hooks and baits and your fishing line, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is your leader, if you want to like, whatever, depending on what area you are as well, you want to adjust this accordingly, so, I mean, I usually go for the, the 19, so, <coughs> we'll keep that at that. Uh, so yeah, you get all details. If you've got lots of items, uh, as you say, if you play this game a lot and you've leveled up and you've got a lot of items, you can click these to filter them, and like that'll be your different baits. You have like a big list of pages. I don't know how that works. So that being said, uh, no, I don't want to leave. We're going to shut this down. Uh, we're going to go and get our fishing on. So, just to make sure, yeah, we've got our worms on, okay. Oh. And another thing as well is, when you're out fishing, I mean, this, I mean, this game's just... For me, that is relaxing. Yeah, um, you've got the... You're all your insects, the birds are sound of the water, nice and peaceful. Um, so, a lot about, a lot of, uh, let's see, oh, we've got a bite. Well, that I thought I'll need to wait. Come on, take that. Got a little nibble there. So, uh, what I basically was going to say is the top left, that tells you your time, the day. Uh, how hot it is, cloud cover, stuff like that, and time of day. Uh, the left is self-explanatory. 
On your right, you've got your little indicator uh, with your float. There'll be one some slack here. Uh, and then under that, you've got your power bar. Uh, underneath that, you can see the little arrows. That's uh, how fast you rerun your line. And the circle around it, which is these, this is your drag. And you should just keep it on four. Uh, and then the 36, as you can see, that's uh, how much line you've got out. And then underneath it, that's a total of uh, how much line you can fit on your reel. So, just going to reel on a wee bit. There we go. Got a fish on there. There we go, nice. So, we got a young largemouth bass. Just under a pun, not too bad. No restrictions as well, so if it's restricted, you have to release it, but we've not got any restrictions, so we keep it and we get a plus eight for that. And uh, the other thing as well, when you lift the fish out, you can see when it flops about that, it splashes the screen, which is pretty cool. Little things like that, that's pretty nice. Okay. So we're going to go and cast up there again. Lovely fish to start the day off. See if we can maybe get another one. But sometimes, I mean, uh, patience is everything in this kind of game. Um, sometimes you could go for ages without getting anything. And uh, other times, well, we were just all in the water, like, just over a minute, I would say, if that. And now uh, we got a nice bass. Just realizing some slack. I don't know if you guys can see it as well, the detail, uh, the line on the water, it actually goes with the current. And then this, the current, like, actually, this real life, it actually works, it's not just visually uh, it's not just for a nice visual if you know what I mean it's <coughs> like everything in the game's done proper and they're still adding stuff so I'm just going to reel in some slack here ok there it is sitting there lovely but we'll try this and uh, we'll try another cast here and then we'll go to the other side and Try the other side of the banking. Okay, reeling some slack again. Looking at a bite there. And we're away. Just a little fish. Jesus nearly pulled that way out of the water. So here we go. Uh, another bluegill. <coughs> just a half pounder. Not too bad. Still got the experience points. So we're going to go ahead and keep this. <laughs> yeah, so we'll try one more on this side. And we'll try to go for a further cast this time. We'll try one right in the reeds. And uh, another thing is, well, when you start out, you can't go for like big, uh, massive fish or anything like that straight away. I uh, realize some slack here. <coughs> so, basically, at the start, I don't know uh, how far it goes up, but you have to level up before you can unlock other places to go and travel to, and then unlock new items and then you purchase the items to get so you can fish for those uh, certain species. Early access, uh, that's all I need to say, but so far I'm really pleased with it. Um, I do like gun games like this. There was another game, I can't remember what it was called, I think it was The Hunter, um, but that was really, you had to pay money uh, 
to really get anything decent in that game, so I stopped playing it. I would have liked uh, to do episodes on it, episodes on that as well, but what can you do? Um, for yous the, who don't know me, uh, I do like my simulator games. Um, I'm going to start getting a lot more videos uploaded. I do like uh, my racing games and my like strategy and tactical army, such as like armor, like it's games like that. I, I basically play it if I like the game, I'll play it. If it if I find it's fun enough to like do it, like recordings with and stuff. I'm just going to reel in some slack here real slow. Yep, there we go, we've got a bite, we've got a bite. And another blue go again. Just for under a half pound. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. <coughs> right, so I notice it says, yeah, we've still got a bait on. I'll put it on just in case. Right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the other side. Um. Let me just want to cast out just in front of that rock there. So we're going to go ahead here. Do fine there. It's lovely. So there we go. And uh, we'll just run some slack here. And the current will take uh, take more line because the current is going downstream. So, but we'll, we want to keep it out. Come on, take it. Take it. There we go. Got another fish. These are these are really, really small fish, so And you have to be careful because you can actually break your line in this. Oh, there we go. That's, uh, I think that's um, nearly been my record. A trophy white crappie over a pound. That's really nice. Plus five for that. It's a really nice fish. I'm quite pleased with myself with that. I'm going to keep that. So we'll go ahead and we'll do one, one, one big cast out in the middle there. And see how we go on. <coughs> but I mean, if you do like your uh, simulator games and like weird life games such as this, I would definitely recommend it. Oh shit, we've got a bite already. Holy crap. Another bluegill. Nice. Nice little fish. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this very short and quick uh, episode. Um, I will be doing more. Uh, and um, We'll see how, uh, how these videos do. But I will upload more. Uh, maybe try and get one or two videos a week. And then if things crank up, I'll release more, etc, etc. But if you did like the video, uh, if you want to know any more details or anything like that, uh, just comment below. And I would really appreciate if you guys would hit the subscribe button and hit that like video if you want to see more episodes on this uh, particular game. And that's for that. So, that being said, happy hunting guys and I'll uh, see you in the next episode.